Hey guys, How To Min here with Teaching and Technology. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can unlock any Android pattern lock on any Android device for free. No root needed. That means no root at all. So without any further ado, let's begin this video. Alright guys, so uh, thank you guys for tuning in once again. Um, last week or last time, last video I made, I actually asked you guys to vote for what my next video should be. And uh, the results were very, very, very close. Now, I let you choose between four options. Android gameplay reviews, like gameplay, I just do gameplay with my, uh, with my device and just start playing games on it. So 20 people voted for that. And then I did app review. 33 people voted for app review. For game review, 10 people voted. And for a tutorial, a how-to tutorial, 34. As you can see, app review was really, really close to tutorial. It got, it just needed one more vote and it would have been tied. Um, I know, but uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, so I'm gonna be doing a tutorial. Here I am doing a tutorial for you guys. As I said, I promise, I promise I would. All right guys, so you may have noticed my setup is quite new. Yes, I have set it up so I can walk around and uh, move to this side and move to this side. It's gonna be really cool and it's gonna be nice. A new feature I like to do. All right guys, so uh, Android lock pattern. That thing is hard to crack. I mean, the security on that thing is easy to set up, and you can't just simply grab someone's phone and just find an option, get rid of that pattern automatically. It's not that easy. It's actually pretty hard. But a senior member on XDA actually found a way in order to hack into the Android pattern um, by using ADB. Basically what ADB is, is uses a command line in order to let you control your device at the fullest with uh, commands on your computer, CMD if you're familiar with that. If you don't know how to set up ADB on your computer, very simple, link down in the description, check it out, and right there it's going to show you how to do that, it's going to be a YouTube video, and it's not by me, but it's going to be very simple, very easy, I did it, works on Mac, Linux, and PC. Make sure you have USB debugging enabled, basically what you do is go, you go to settings, applications, development, and uh, there should be an option that says USB debugging, and uh, that's basically it, you don't even need Wi-Fi. So uh, let's get to it. Okay, so uh, here's my phone. I have the HTC Amaze 4G by T-Mobile and uh, it works for every Android device. By the way, I turned off Wi-Fi just to make it harder on myself and I turned off uh, mobile network. So just to show you guys that this is not a spam. Also, if I unlock it, you can see I have a password. Uh, I can't unlock it though. But if I go like this, this is basically my password. There, there. So basically what you want to do is make sure that the phone has USB debugging enabled. Now, what you want to do first is connect your phone to your computer. That's all you do. Now on your computer, you want to go here to the start. Um, try to see if you can find start on your computer. I'm going to type in CMD. As you can see there, CMD, it's called command prompt. If you find that, open it up. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in a simple code that's going to unlock the password. So here it goes. Make sure you follow this code. Uh, the code is going to be on the screen just for you guys. Very simple. I'm going to be typing as slow as possible but not too slow. So here it goes. The code is ADB shell. Hit enter. Then you want to type in RM space slash data slash system slash gesture dot key there you go now what you want to do is hit enter and it automatically should be good now what you want to do is you want to restart or reboot your phone so you don't have to even be unlocked. To do that, all you have to do is hold the power button. There should be a button. Mine just says automatically restart. So I'm just gonna click restart. So just try to reboot your phone or restart it. Alright so there you guys go. Now you can unplug it automatically and as you can see if I draw a random pattern it automatically unlocks. The main pattern though was this one. But as you can see, I can do any pattern at all and it unlocks automatically. 
I could even do one dot and it automatically unlocks. Everything works, root, camera, anything you want. Now you may be thinking that, hey, the pattern's broken now. What if I want to set up another password? Simple, all you do is go into the security and you just click on the security pattern and you just draw a pattern like nothing has ever happened before. Continue, pattern, confirm it. Obviously you know how to set it up, everyone does. Then you want to unlock it. Now if you draw a random pattern, it can't, so you'll have to do all this process over again if you forget it. But, as you can see, if I do that pattern that I showed you guys, it works. Now let's take a look at method two in order to see if I can do it for you guys. Let's do this. So basically what you want to do is have USB debugging enabled all over again. Plug your phone back into your computer. You want to open up command prompt, command prompt again. Next, now these codes is probably longer, but don't worry, just type in everything I have and you should be fine. So what I'm gonna type is ADB space shell. Enter. Next is CD space dash data slash data slash com dot android dot providers dot settings slash databases next you want to type in sq light 3 space settings dot db enter you should get that next you want to type in update space system set value equal to zero where name is equal the little comma lock underscore pattern underscore auto lock comma and then colon enter then type it all over again so update system set value equal to zero where name equal comma lock screen dot lot out permanently comma colon enter that then you want to type in dot quit there you go next what you want to do is you can see it's still not enabled so you want to reboot your phone <laughs> And there my phone rebooted so I'm gonna take it out so for the second method that I did mine doesn't work but if it does work for your device then uh, method 2 is works because method work method 1 works on some devices but not all method 2 works on some devices but not all it's not cracked but the first method for me worked and um, try the first if it doesn't work reboot your phone and try the second very simple, very easy. So that's how you do it. Alright guys, so that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys like this video. Make sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. Um, I did unlock my pattern on my Android device. This is great if you forgot your password on your Android device and just want to unlock it. Very simple, very easy. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Kapow!